Welcome to Boston Eats. I'm Sarah Kleinman. Sorry it's been so long. I've been on a little bit of a hiatus, but we're back with a special Boston Eats. <laughs> Hard-nosed critique. Hard-nosed? Hard-nosed. Hard-nosed critique. Is that right? There has been some information in the news recently about the potential for certain kinds of animal meat being in the Swedish meatballs here. We have been informed that this is not including the IKEA that we are at today in Stoughton, Mass. Disclaimer. I do have low expectations. Let's get in there. I'm Jen. I'm Laura. We'll be. Laura, yes. Yes. I think it might be time for my vaccination. And I'm the doctor. Dr. Starr, would you like to have dinner with us? I would just like to discuss some of the options that I've seen so far. They're tantalizing. There are some delicious and crispy looking chicken tenders. Um, that are really catching my eye. There's also some baby back, baby back, baby back ribs, which I just want to order, but I don't actually want to eat. And so far I've picked up a non-alcoholic hair drink, which I'm excited about. For a three adult and one child, it was 29 something. At the beverage station, I don't actually know if these are free refills, but I treat them as if they are. For the consumers of Boston Eats, I will consume the lingonberry drink. It's like Kool-Aid. It's terrible. I always go with the fish. I don't remember the name. My first thought when I took my first bite before was that it tasted a lot like something my grandmother Bella would have made. It's the dill. That's what makes it taste so familiar to me. I've always noticed that a lot of the things that my grandmother made were all the same shade of all this sort of tan. I like them because they're full of color and so it makes me feel like I'm getting something rich and, and full of nutrient. Um, but they actually are always cold. The mashed potatoes I actually really like. The texture of the fish is a little tough. Tougher than I think it probably should be. It's smoky. It's smoky and a little bit sweet. It tastes exactly like the barbecue sauce I used to get in elementary school on French fry day and chicken tender day, or chicken nugget day. There are chicken tenders and there are chicken nuggets. And what I have on my plate is chicken nuggets. And they look like chicken tenders because they're long, but they inside the texture is like a chicken nugget, which to me is disgusting. The best thing on the table that we've ordered, and I've tried a little bit of everything, hands down are the fries. Whatever soft seasoning, something they put on them is like just, like I'm eating the fries, but also as I'm talking about it, my mouth is watering so much. I did try a meatball and I was gonna try another one on camera, but I don't think it's even worth it because I don't want whatever I eat to be ingested again into my body. The pear juice, on the other hand, it's a sparkling pear drink. It's just not good. It tastes syrupy, and then the aftertaste is like metal. So as a thirst-quenching sparkling beverage, I would say no. You're neither here nor there? Yeah, I'm neither here nor there. I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't drink it. What I do like about it, in terms of the carbonation, is it's like a small bubble as opposed to a big bubble. That is how I wish my seltzers would come. Um, so well, I like green the, has a little smaller. Yeah, you're absolutely right, but you pay for it. <laughs> what was the best tasting part? Um, the mac and cheese. What did you think of the carrots, Ruby? Not so good. What's happening with your nose right now? What did you think of your food? You had a french fry for the first time. I got four frozen yogurts in a cup. And is there a certain flavor? They only have vanilla. There it is. First thoughts? 
10 is the best and zero is the worst. This is fun, this is good, it's small. It's sweet, it's cold, it's firm. What, honey? Meatballs, I would say low scores on that. Cons, um, same thing with the pear drink. But just like, listen, it's a Saturday afternoon, right? It's a Saturday afternoon, you've done some shopping and you're like, I feel like a lingonberry drink or I feel like a little meatball. And you know what, it's cheap and the ice cream is fun. So in terms of like the feeling and the culture, I love it, I give it a thumbs up for that. But my final score is going to be a 2.75, 2.5, it's going down, 2.5 out of 5 Schnungelflugens. The fish was tough, filled with dill, which I don't like, it's the third time I've gotten it. Carrots were cold, I didn't like them, but I always kind of have a good time here. Even when I have a tummy ache after eating dinner, which I do. Three Atlantic seeds. Pros are the frozen yogurt, the french fries, the barbecue sauce. For the nostalgia factor. A 2.5 Swedish fish. Church?